Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Got Steve on the camera, and today we have the first flight of the two meter Draco coming from E Flight and Horizon Hobby. Really cool airplane, folks. If you want to check out a really cool detailed video I put out of unboxing, all the parts review, assembly, just check it out on the RC Informer YouTube channel. I will put a link to it in the upper right hand corner of this screen. It should be available right now. We're putting these two out kind of concurrently so you guys can see the airplane fly and uh, you know also see the unbox and assembly and the detail on this thing is awesome Steve if you want to get in on a few details like maybe maybe here on the front of the airplane first it's pretty awesome you can see the propeller detail how nicely it's painted with the decals the engine exhaust pipes and then Steve if you want to maybe move up to the top all of these little scale details here are made out of plastic functioning flaps we have, uh, or sorry, leading edge slats, I should say, that are actually functional because they're actually, they're, they're actually slotted. They're a fixed slat that creates extra lift. And then on the top here, all the antennas around this airplane, it's very, very detailed. You got landing lights, flashing lights all over this airplane. And then Steve, if you want to get out down on the landing gear, can you see that okay? Yep. It's got tremendous compression. It's all scale if you want to get in on the back of it. It compresses like the full-scale airplane and then Steve I don't know if you can get in on the tail wheel as well um, see the compression back there yep yeah it's pretty impressive it has a car shock on all of these just like the full scale there's even a little little Mike Patey inside can you get in on him yep can you is. see him okay in there yeah <laughs> so anyway he's in there he's got a light up instrument panel there's lights all over this Steve if you can you get in on the nose yep a little light underneath there as well there's uh there's tail lights so we've got a tail light here and here and then we've got wing lights as well underneath steve you can get right here that's a landing light we'll show that in a later video also in the unbox video it's in there too there's one here there's lights all over this darn thing antennas underneath i mean you name it folks this thing has has the detail they've done a tremendous job on this so uh, again, guys, check out that unbox and that assembly that we did, and we're going to fire it up and go. You ready, Steve? Let's go. We did a little pre-flight of this earlier. I'm going to power this up and plug it in, and away we're going to go. So let's get this uh, get this plugged in. I'll let it initialize itself. We'll see all the flight controls move here. There we go. All right, it's ready to go. My safety is on. I'm running in this thing today, a 5000 Spectrum Pack. You can't really see it, but it's all it's all kind of locked in there. And it's tied down and ready to go. We checked the CG. CG is a little bit ahead of the 100 millimeters that they suggest, but we just put the battery in there. We're gonna go with it uh, as is. Do a quick flight control check, folks. Everything is set up exactly the way the book says. Um, I have uh, full rates here if you want to check out the whole plane there, Steve. There's your aileron rate. It actually programs in a little bit of rudder. Now, I don't know if that's something that they programmed in because that's nothing I put in there, and I'm just going to kind of go with it as is and see if it works okay. So that's your high aileron rate. There's your mid, and there's your low aileron rate. Elevator, same thing. High, medium, and low. Just set it up like the book. Lots of rudder travel, and I'll do a little quick flap check here. So... Um, and there we go. I set everything again up just like the book said to do it. And I'll do a quick uh, quick thrust check here. We got another guy taking off here as well. Let's power up. Lots of power. I'm also gonna check out the reverse thrust feature. So as I apply power, Steve, if you wanna get in on my radio, I put mine, in fact, I'll move it up here. I put mine on my bind button. So when I press that button, it goes into reverse, okay? So we have reverse thrust on the airplane as well so i put mine on my bind button because i don't want to inadvertently hit that switch in flight and have it go into reverse so i want to make sure i'm consciously pushing that forward so and then all the lights are on the knob like you guys will see um, in the uh, assembly and setup so steve without further delay you ready let's hit it i'm gonna go mid rates on everything it's very windy steve if you want to get in on the wind sock out there show everybody what it's like and we got another flyer out here it's kind of windy so <laughs> rather than doing a crosswind takeoff right steve with this <laughs> yeah. me and steve are going to go with uh just a kind of into the wind thing so i am going to taxi it around a little bit and we do have a guy flying here with us so 
he's uh, he's standing out over there. So let me give him a second. In the meantime, Steve, let me taxi it around a little bit. Huge tires, folks. This is an airplane that the tail wheel also is um, not, it's semi directly linked, okay, to the rudder, but it's set up with springs. So to steer it, you've got to use a little bit of thrust over that rudder to kind of get it to turn. Also, the, the if you take a look at the prop, notice the brake is on, okay? The brake is set up there, so you can use that reverse thrust feature. It kind of comes in a box that way, but uh, Steve, you got a good view of the whole airplane? I do. Uh, right under the, the spinner, you can see there's a flashing light there. Yep. On each wingtip, you got you got landing lights, and um, or at least uh, I think they're landing. I got a bunch of landing lights on this. And then if you look at the wingtip there, the wingtip has a green light and a strobe. This thing's going to be nice at nighttime. So um, anyway, let me see where the other traffic is at. He's uh, he's kind of way over there. So here we go. Let me uh, let me drive it around a little more, and we'll take off in this direction. So here we go, Steve. I'm just going to do a normal takeoff. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of stole stuff with it initially, but let's just see if we can get uh, get up in the air and uh, let's see where we got. So, man, the taxi's nice on this big grass, isn't it? Yep. Holy smokes! All right, here we go. Right, left, up, down. We're good. Again, I'm going mid rates. Take it off. Oh yeah, what a oh nice. I'm at about a, a half throttle right here, Steve. There's a roll for you. Yeah, I can see why you would need. See, I'm curious to see if that prop's going to stop. You see that? See, Steve, it's windmilling a bit. Yep. But they do have the brake feature on. So, yeah, real nice flyer. Really smooth, very smooth. Wow, okay. It'll have. Look at that suspension work. Really nice. Wow. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I'm going to go to a high aileron right now. Let's do another takeoff with it. We'll come back around. It's like an off-road truck. I mean, it feels like I'm driving an off-road truck. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, where's our other guy? Oh, he's uh, he's not flying anymore. Okay, we got this guy to ourselves, Steve. Here we go. Take it off. Let's go straight up with it. Wow, it's got some power. Yeah, man. Holy smokes. All right, let's drop some flaps here. Full flaps are coming in. I set it up just like the book said to set it up. Oh yeah, this thing, oh, it's awesome. Look how slow it'll get. Wow, look at that, look at that. Look at it bouncing around, holy smokes. That's nice. And that's the primary thing about this airplane is it is a stole, it is a stole airplane, short takeoff and landing, so. Are you ready, Steve? Yep. Let's do short takeoff with it, here we go. All right, we'll power it up and go, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Let's do it again. Full flaps. Power's off. The prop brake is on, but it is windmilling. Yep, that's my bouncy landing. Let's try out the reverse thrust on the ground just to be sort of on the safe side. I'm holding the button. There we go. There we go. You ready? Yep. All right, let me get it stationary. We'll do another short takeoff with it. This is impressive. I tell you what, you got to stay on the ailerons, especially in this heavy wind, because it will roll over on you. You know what I mean? You're, especially with this wind, you got to be dry, you got to be steering the ailerons the whole time. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> that is awesome, Steve. All right, let's do this. Let's do a high speed pass, or as high speed as Draco will go. That's a full throttle pass, give you guys an idea of the speed of it. That's also going into the wind, so, you know, let's come by quick this way. Kind of RC Informer style here. So it'll move along, not bad. I mean, the wind is buffeting the heck out of it. Oh, it's got a lot of rudder, holy smokes. Yeah, it's got some serious rudder. This is just power off. That prop is windmilling, but it's resisting. It's resisting the brake is what it's doing. So, because the prop brake is on, you know, from the factory, so. Hey, this is fun, Steve. Holy smokes. <laughs> like I said, I think the thing I'm learning from this is you've got to really stay on the ailerons on this plane, even when it's on the ground, especially when there's some wind. So, um, all right. No flap takeoff. Let's try that. Here we go. Full throttle. It still even gets up without the flap so much. Try it inverted. 
Here, let's see. All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's see how it does upside down. It's really not an inverted flying airplane, I don't think. Oh, yeah, it doesn't like it so much. I don't think I'm going to be doing it because it's got those slats, you know? Yep. And it's giving it sort of that negative uh, kind of lift when you're inverted. So let's just do a touch and go here. See, I'm, I'm, I'm even too hot to land here. Let's go out a little bit. Here, let me go out a little ways with it. Let me pitch it up. I'm going to kick the rudder. It's got a powerful rudder. Wow. Very neat. Yeah, Draco's not a speed plane, but it maneuvers well. I'm using full aileron, so if you guys think that aileron is like maybe too much, it's not. You, you, that, that, that massive, I think it's like 40 millimeters of aileron throw or something like that. Here, let's drop some flaps, full flaps coming in. Yeah, you gotta have a little dexterity to grab that button to go reverse <laughs> with it, you know? So, there you go, there's your reverse, right, let's go forward. <laughs> That's crazy how that takes off in such a short distance. Let me do some steep turns with it out front here, Steve. That's full throttle. Yeah, it's not a speed plane. It's pretty quick, but it's really just high lift. And then let me go. I'm going to go to a high elevator rate. Let's try inverted with it again a little higher just to see how it does, you know. I'm usually not happy unless I'm upside down, so... Let's see, does it hold inverted there? You know what, I'm pushing really far forward on the stick, like really far forward. It does not really want to fly upside down. I'm sure it'll do it fine, but it's a little risky doing it with it, because like I say, it's got those slats for high lift, so. Yeah, it'll move. Full flaps. Yeah, it'll just slow to a crawl. Yeah, I'm not even gonna, yeah, I'm almost stalled. Yeah, see, look at that, it just comes right down. But I had full elevator rate in there, so I had plenty to recover with, so. Yeah, it's impressive. Yeah, look at, see that? See how it's lifted up? Hey, you gotta be careful with a crosswind on this, obviously, because it will, it'll get away from you. That wind, it'll pick up a lot of, a lot of wind under the wing. And uh, I don't know, the, you know, the reverse thrust, I don't think you need it so much. You know what I mean? It's something they give you that's kind of cool, but. Especially when you got wind, it just stops here. I'll just turn it around. Power's off. Power it in a little bit. I'm keeping the full flaps in there. I mean, it's. I mean, you don't. You don't need the reverse thrust. So it's neat, though. Wow. It's. I tell you, like I said, I feel like I'm driving a truck. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, here we go. Max takeoff again. Max power. <laughs> It didn't even roll. It just the power just took it up there. Yep. All right, let's see. Let's come by the camera slow, Steve. Here. Yeah. See, it wants to. It wants to drop a wing. Look at all that aileron. Yep. I mean, that's what I'm using. And even on the ground, you got to keep steering it like that. slow here again let's try coming up by the camera and actually keep it flying this time yeah, it'll fly nice and slow I wish we had a calmer day that I could really experiment with it a little more but even in this wind it does seem to handle it well you just got to keep that wind from getting under one of your wings because it'll it'll really roll this thing over so It'll handle a hard hit. You know, let me just pound it in. Yeah, I mean, it'll handle it'll handle some serious abuse. Tell you what, Steve, let me do a quick battery check, see where we're at. Safety's on. What do you think? Uh, 48%. Oh, you know what? I can't really even get to it. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Because I put my battery in backwards. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. I am going to pull it out of there. Let's do this. Let's unplug it real fast, and I'll put it back into place if I have to here. Let's pull it out, because I want to see what uh, what it is, um, what we're working with. Pull this out of here. All right. Get the straps off. Yep, it's not letting me get in there and take the strap off. All right, here we go. There it is. 
All right, what'd you guess it was? 48. 48. All right, that's my Spectrum 5000 50C pack. Can you get on that? Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. See what we got. What'd you say it was? 48. Let's see what we got. We are at 25%. Wow. We used up quite a bit. I tell you what, let me throw another battery in and we'll go. You ready? Yeah. Okay, guys, I went and I got a uh, another Spectrum 5000. This is a 50C, but this one is a G2 pack, okay? So it doesn't have a balance lead on it. And we're gonna show you some of the uh, the telemetry that this thing uh, this thing will get. So what I'm gonna do is for this flight too, like I did with the last one, I'm actually gonna put the battery leads uh, pointing or on the inside there, cause I don't, really, I don't really want them up front. I'm just trying to get them kind of back and out of the way. And uh, if they'll fit under there. So let me see if I can tuck them under that deck, which I think I can. And then that way my battery will sit down there pretty nicely. And then we got, uh, Steve, can you get in on everything okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna strap the two of these down. Um, I'm putting my battery about, you know, maybe about an inch or so, if you can see here, Steve. Yep. Maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch off the front of here. And um, the CG is working out to be approximately um, just about 90, 95 millimeters ahead of where the CG uh, is supposed to be on this, which is about 100. So here, let's plug it in again. Let's let it boot up here. Let it go. Take it a second, let all the flight controls initialize. There they go. Okay. Now for me, the only disadvantage to not having a, uh, a an actual balance lead on the battery is um, it, it, I can't get a percentage off of it, but what we can get, and Steve, we're going to attempt to show this on the radio. Let's see what we can get here. But um, let's see, can you focus on that? Yep, the screen. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just scroll a little bit and show you what the telemetry does for you in this thing. So it shows you your receiver voltage as I scroll a little farther. It gives us the battery voltage, temperatures, and stuff. And then there's our, there's our voltage or our, our voltage per cell that you can see there and it's reading properly now so me and steve are getting some erroneous readings and then the as3x gains are right here which i think you're they're adjustable here but i'm going to leave them all the same because it's it it, it, it it doesn't really matter i mean they're, they're set up right so but you can see where the gains are set which you can adjust here i think and then um and then uh, i don't know that's as3x heading and then they show the aileron limits and stuff so there's a lot of data here and uh and so forth that you can scroll through that the telemetry gives you. But mostly we're gonna be looking at this. I'd love to see a percentage on here, you know, mm -hmm. like we normally get, you know, with our battery checker. But for now we have voltages and stuff. So what I'll do is I'll leave it, uh, I'll leave it on my voltages and then we'll look at our battery readout and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, we are in there. The CG I'm flying it at here, folks, like I talked about here, Steve, I'll flip this around so folks can see it. I got my safety on here. Uh, let's see, Steve, can you get on the wing right here? Yep. There's a panel line right here. 100 is just behind that. We're balancing right about on the line, maybe a little ahead of that. So we're like maybe 95 or 90 on the CG for now. So it's a little farther ahead of where the book says. So you've got a lot of limit. You can even move the battery back. You can even go with a lighter battery. If you guys want to use a 3200 or 3300 6S, move it forward. You can use a 7000, move it a little back. but either case it'll work out nice you ready Steve yep all right let's see what we got here right left up down all right here we go strap my uh, radio on keep an eye on our voltages here all right, here we go all right taking off we got a chopper here I'm flying around flaps That's crazy how short that thing takes off. It rolls around okay. It's a very, it's actually slow to roll. So, you know, you're not gonna get a huge roll rate out of this plane. You can see I got plenty of control, okay, but it's a little sluggish in the roll. That's probably why they programmed, it, programmed in that aileron or that rudder in with the aileron control. Yep. Okay, for adverse yaw reasons. So, but it'll maneuver well, it's nice. 
All right, Steve, I'm going to come in with one setting of flaps here. Bring it by. So that prop is neat, huh? Yep. It's in brake mode, but it's still windmilling just a hair. It's amazing how slow that thing will fly. <laughs> Okay, well, let me take it up a little higher here, Steve, just a little bit. Let me do some uh, looping with it. You hear that chopper? Yep. Okay, let's see. Let's just loop it around. It does a real tight loop. Holy smokes. Yeah, it'll do really. I had to release on the pressure there. So it's a great looping airplane. To roll it, though, it's a slow to roll plane. I'm using a little negative elevator there. flaps it, it just I think they got the trim set right the the rudder elevator or sorry the elevator flat mixing is just right there yeah, we're going into the wind it's amazing how slow this thing will get that's crazy <laughs> All right, let me turn it in tight here it, it, it's actually I'm going out a lot farther than I need to to land this thing it's crazy it's uh that's unreal All right, let's do it again we'll do a very short pattern That's crazy how short of a pattern you can do. Wow, it's almost like a little tiny circle. <laughs> Jeez, I could probably do that in my front yard. See, it's a backyard flyer now. Yeah, it almost is. I mean, look at that. Look how short that is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a tight, Steve, I'm not even leaving the confines of the runway. I know, I'm seeing that. I mean, I'm not even leaving the barrier of the runway, really. So, whoa, whoa, see what I mean by steering the aileron? If you don't stay on it, the wing will get a uh, wind will get under that wing. So I wasn't really on it there. So, all right, here we go. Let's bring it in tight again. Staying on those ailerons, staying on those babies. <laughs> I don't think I've done a pattern that tight before, Steve. That might be the, that may be the shortest, tightest pattern I think I've done. I think so. That's crazy. All right, here, let's see. Let's get it out here. Big ways. All right, here we go. Again, another short takeoff. I'm going to go straight up. At least, well, as best I can because the wind's going to blow it if I point the nose straight up. It'll go up and out of sight. I mean, there's still, I can point it up there. Here, let's roll it. Let me bring it down. Straight on the down line here. We go very slow to roll, but that's again, guys. This is a short takeoff and landing airplane. Drop the flaps. That's crazy. <laughs> that's unreal. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's do another vertical with it again, but I'm gonna do it farther out so I'm not hurting your neck so much. Let me go down the length of the runway here. Here we go. I'm gonna go straight out with it. Full flaps. You ready? Yep. Going up without hitting the wind sock. Flaps coming up. I'm just gonna point it straight up there. The wind is gonna blow it towards us though, so it's kinda of hard to do, but yeah, it'll keep on going up there. I'm just gonna power it off. There's no point in doing all that. Full flaps, turning it around here. It just turns right on into the wind. Look at that thing, holy smokes. <laughs> Outstanding, folks. I think Horizon's got a winner with this thing. It's cool. All right, let's do, let's do a no flap takeoff, kinda of into the wind. Get it up on its wheels there. I mean, it doesn't even need, I mean, it's it's just insane how how slow of a speed in a confined area it t it'll take off in. Give you a presentation pass with it. Top of the wing shot. It, it maneuvers well in tight areas. Right here, our flaps down. I'm just gonna drop it in. That's impressive. Adding a little power, I don't wanna stall it too bad. But yeah, wow, that'll take some hits, holy smokes. <laughs> awesome, full flaps. Takes off in the shadow. <laughs> it's, it's unreal, yeah, it really does. I mean, it really doesn't even roll. I don't, I don't really, I'm trying to show you the reverse thrust feature, but I mean, you just don't need it. Well, let's try it with flaps, or without flaps. Let's do that. Maybe that'll give you an opportunity to show it off here. <laughs> I don't see a point. I just yeah. don't see a point in the reverse thrust on this plane. It lands so slowly anyway. I mean, yeah, we've got some wind today, but 
I don't think that matters. I mean, I have to completely readjust how I fly my pattern with this plane because it lands so short. Yeah, I mean, it'll handle some serious abuse. I mean, holy smoke. Pipe pattern again. There we go. I, now, know, I know there's a few of them out there thinking that, hey, why not reverse thrust it in midair? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm not gonna let somebody else try it first, yeah. <laughs> then we'll do it. So, all right, I would imagine the Horizon guys when they were testing this probably tried that, you know, I'm sure they fully tested that. So, right, my battery's getting ready to die over here. Oh, is it? Yeah, all right, well, let's bring it in. Well, how many, how much time you got? What does it say? Yeah, it's just flashing at me. So. Oh, is it flashing at you? All right, let me bring it in here. All right, that is it, Steve. Safety's on. All right, guys, that is it. First flight's out on the uh, Horizon Hobby Draco. Coming from E-Flight, Mike Patey Design, awesome airplane. Uh, check our links in the description below if you guys want one. Um, if you guys get one through our links, it supports our channel. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That will let you know when we got new videos out. Please hit that like, like, like button. That really, uh, that really um, um, forces the YouTube algorithm to share our videos with, uh, with more people. Steve, what do you think of this? Sweet little airplane, man. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Right, guys, get one. They're really cool. They're all right, guys, our camera memory was full, so we lost it right there, and we figured we'd go to the end here. I figured I'd use this as an opportunity just to show you guys a few more things. Um, um, we have, it's really nice. You can see right here, Steve, can you get in on the light there? We got a really nice wing light there. Uh, right here, you can see our flashers there. Can you get in on that? Yeah, really nice. We've got our flasher right here. We've got this light. I mean, this thing, I can't wait to get it. We'll do a dusk flight for everybody, but there's a light right here as well. And then uh, without this blowing away, you guys saw the one under the nose. And uh, let's see. We've got this one right here. These actually shine forward. These are actually the, like the landing lights. I'm not even sure what these are all about here. but And then it's got this one here, which is a flasher. And there's another one right here and it's probably gonna be hard to see I'll try Steve can you get into the cockpit can you see any of those instruments uh, you, so. the well yeah there's a red one there's green ones there's an instrument panel I mean there's all kinds of stuff if you guys look at our unbox video we show all that lit up in the dark so you'll be able to see all that yeah you got it okay yeah it's pretty neat his whole panel stays lit and then right here Steve if you can get on the top here it's got a light back here. This is going to be awesome at dusk. We'll have this at Seth to demo this and everything. And all those things, Steve, if you want to pan out, all of those are controlled via this knob. It's all set up from the factory this way. So all you have to do is, all the lights are off right now, but as you turn it just a little bit, little by little, all the lights begin to turn on. And there's like seven or eight steps that will eventually turn them all on. Cockpit lights are on all the time so so they'll always uh, always uh, always be lit but it's pretty uh, pretty impressive model folks uh, you know all the way around another thing I want to point out real nice detail I show in the unbox video is this little panel right here it has some rare earth magnets and when you open that up that's what gives you uh, access to the receiver area and Steve I'll get it to get this down so people can see it. let me get in front of the camera for one second you got the hatch back there this just comes right up. That's from the factory. That's your light controller board. Receiver is down there. I don't know, Steve, if you can get right back on that back wall. I ran my second antenna horizontally right there because the other one goes through that tube down the center, okay, and it's going front to back. So you want one side by side, and my antenna was actually sitting right down in the battery bay, like kind of, or in the, in the, in the compartment right down there. So I moved it and I put it so it's horizontal, you know, so it's perpendicular to the other. But this is right out of the factory, folks. I didn't change anything here. I didn't do anything here. I kind of just left it alone. Rare earth magnets there. Um, and then, uh, the hatch cover is super, super nice. Uh, the tail is also removable. And uh, maybe we'll do a ring, wing removal too, but the tail is removable. Steve, if you want to get back on here, can you see this okay? If you pop these two ball links off, one here and one here, and then you pop this ball link off, 
you lift this latch, which I'll show you guys uh, if you watch the uh, unbox video. And this little latch right here is the thing that holds the tail in. Whole horizontal stabilizer comes off. So it's real easy to remove the tail for transport because it is a massively huge tail. And then, um, uh, and then the wings are really, really simple, folks. And I'm going to do a separate video of this to show everybody later, okay? But um, these are your, and let me see which ones are the ones I modified. Um, these are your quarter turn, let me get on the other side, Steve. These are your quarter turn wing bolts, okay? So to remove your wing, all you have to do is just turn these. And you pull them out. And that's, that's really it. So you take these out of place, and then your wing is just this simple to remove. Okay, we just pull this off. Let me get this out of here. And if you guys check out the unbox video, um, again, the assembly, unbox, all that, I'll show you all this in detail. So, Steve, get in on here. You can see there's all your wing connectors and how all that goes together. So it's pretty neat how that how that actually uh, goes together well. And I'll have an upgrade to show you. In fact, if you guys, I don't know if you can get in on this, Steve. I actually took a Dremel tool right here and I cut this. You can see I put a little notch there, so it makes this, I'll show a video of this later, so it makes it easier to grip, because without a little notch there, it's these slide off, they're kind of hard to, hard to grab onto, but that's, that's it, all your wing connections are made here. You do want to be careful when you're moving this around, you have a real slat right here, and this is made out of foam. It does have a, and I might be able to show it to you, uh, here we go. It does have under here, can you get on this edge? It has a spar in there, okay? But still, this is a foam molded slat, so you gotta be careful grabbing the front of this because you'll, you'll ding this up. It, it, it compresses, it's, it's, not, it's a little bit weak, so you gotta be careful when you're handling this. I actually dinged up the other side, gripping it too hard, so you just gotta be careful. So, but this is how easy the wing is to put on and off for transport, okay? And, um, and that's really it. Let me put this back on and uh, what do you think, Steve? Pretty awesome, huh? And that's it, guys. Quarter turn wing bolts. That's it. I'm going to put out a little tips video on a few little things I did to this, but for the most part, um, I mean, it's pretty stock from the uh, stock from Horizon Hobby. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty awesome bird. You can see how, how nicely uh, this thing flies. Great features, great detail on this model. It is absolutely a monster. Uh, very, very cool. So anyway, Steve, you got any last, last comments? Yeah, but this is yeah, this is Draco. Well, you know, there's probably gonna be a, there's gonna be a Draco too. And Mike too, Mike Patey's making another one, so it'll maybe it'll be a different color. So anyway, Steve, thanks for filming, guys. Thanks for watching the RC Informer YouTube channel. Uh, this Draco 2.0 meter is is outstanding. Just a nice flying machine. We'll have it at Seth for everybody. Um, stay tuned for more videos, guys. Again, like, subscribe, share the videos, and uh, we do appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching RC Informer, Steve. Thanks for filming, guys. See y'all next time.